I'm gonna do something different in this segment because we've been talking about Valentine's and we live in a day and age of texting and talking on cell phones while we're having dinner or always our mind is on something other than the person who is right in front of us. So years ago, I wrote a Valentine letter to my husband, Tom, and um, I'm gonna read it to you and um, I hope it doesn't sound too sappy but it was filled with expression of how much he means to me and why. So here is the letter, quote, it has always been my pattern to go buy something for a special occasion. I felt that it would be a complete waste of money to do this. And the thing that you would appreciate the most is my not buying you a present that you didn't need or want. Besides, I don't have a current list of tools that you want, so. I come to you on this Valentine's Day of 1999 looking a little tired, a little old, a little unromantic, no eyebrows and eyelashes, and two blue holes, to say thank you for making me feel pretty all the time. In the course of our 24 years together, you have been my guide for more adventure, more growth, more stability, and more genuine joy than one person has the right to ever even dream about. You are amazing to live with. You are never predictable and always dependable. You are fun and interesting and truly the most passionate person about living life than anyone I have ever even read about. I'm still amazed that you picked me to share your life with even if it was the second time around. So, here's to more or less of everything. Here's to growing wiser and older together. Here's to the deepening love that continues to grow and to laughter louder and more often. Here's to whatever it is you want to do next. I'm with you all the way. And you know, you're still the best looking man I know. Love and everything that's beyond, Susie. It's just a thought, write your words, express them verbally, look into their eyes, pour your heart into the person you love. I can guarantee that memory will last longer than anything you can ever buy in a store. We'll be right back. But if you've got a question or you need some advice, shoot me an email to Susie at ktxdtv.com. Find me on Facebook at Susie Humphreys or tweet me at Susie Says So. And we're back with our final thoughts right after this.